Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, welcome everyone to our second online training. And this is Alan. I'm the speaker today. And today's topic is the fiber solution. Before the training start, in order to ensure the quality of the communication, please be sure to check whether your microphone has been muted. And the presentation will take about 15 minutes. Then came the QA session. Please text your question about today's topic in the chat windows. Me and my colleague, Ricky, will answer them one by one. Okay, let's start. So this is a part of NOAA STAR standard service training session. And I believe that a lot of you have used or are using the optic fiber transmission. Here, let's discuss about the optic fiber solution and some precaution in use. Let's take a look at the original solution that everyone is familiar with, I believe, and use the network cable to connect to the controller and the video wall. Question first, what's the limitation of the CAT5 cable and what about CAT6 cable? So you can text your answer in the chat windows. Let's say if you have the correct answer. Okay, because of the quality of the network cable is uneven. So NOAA star suggests to use the CAT5 cable within eight meters. And even you use the CAT6, we recommend you use within 100 meters. Okay, let's go back. If the distance is longer than 100 meters, as the picture show here, and if you meet this long distance issues, what will you do? Of course, the optic fiber transmission solution. So let's check the first solution, the basic one. And the structure will be like this. The output from the, con from the controller will give the data to the first converters. This is the electrical signal to optic signal. And then the optic signal will back to electric signal by the second converter. Then the data will go to the reserving card, means the screen. So between those two converters, the distance can be up to 100 meters. So here we know for each output from the sending card, need two pieces of converters. This one we call, this converter we call CVT310. And the, the transmission distance is 300 meters. But one thing you need to remember is that this device need work with multi-mode dual core optical fiber. Maybe you have question, can we use converter from other brands? And here, sorry, I need to say, we cannot guarantee his reliability in this whole system, but you can have a try. But in my opinion, I think everything comes from one company, it's better. And sometimes the distance between the controller and the LED display is more than 300 meters. So we, we cannot use that converter anymore. What shall we do?
here, I still have the same picture used here, but different device model. Those two converter is the CVT320. And the transmission distance is 15 kilometers. And it should work with single mode dual core optic fiber. So that's the only difference between the CVT310 and the CVT320. And normally our radio wall will be 2K by 1K resolution or more than that. So here we take the 2K screen as an example, and we need full output. Just now we mentioned each port need two pieces of CVT, the sound converter. So totally how much we need? Full output, it means we need eight pieces of converters. So there are so many devices, and it's maybe a problem for the installation. And if it's more than if, if your screen is more than 2K resolution, we need more converters. And we know that more connection point may cause more problem. So what can we do for this issue? Here, for some big screen, and we also provide two solution. And the first one, we can use one device to instead of the other CVT 310 or 320. The structure is here. It looks much easier than before. So only we only need two converter here. And this device we call CVT Rock. And it has 16 pairs of fiber and RJ45 interface. So the CVT Rocker 310 is used to instead of CVT 310. And the CVT Rocker 320 used to instead of CVT 320. So uh, it looks like we put 16 smaller converter into a big box. Here, now we know the above converters. We, for each output from the controllers, we need two Ethernet cable and one more optical fiber port, uh, cable. So I think it's still too much cable and connection point. Can we make it simple? Here comes a new controllers, which we call M Controller 660 Pro. And this one is the upgraded version of M Control 660. From the list here, we can see there are so many features. For example, like the low latency, just within one free or the web control. But today I will not introduce this product in detail. Let's see, let's just say what can it do for the fiber solution. And this controller has two. 10 gigabit bandwidth, bandwidth of the output. So one as primary, another one as the backup. So we can use them directly to the converters and it helps to save one converters. We just need only one on the screen side. And also compared with other controllers, the M Control 660 Pro, it has biggest difference is that this one has two working mode. It can work as sending card, and also this controller can work as a fiber converter. So you can just use the front panel, use the knob to change the working mode. As the picture show here, for some project, and special for the rental, you don't have to buy another converter. And we can directly use two pieces of M Control 660 Pro. So the first one we use as a sending card, and the second one we can use as a fiber converter. 
So between those two, if you use the single link, uh, single mode, the distance can be up to 15 kilometers. And all, we also have the solution with less fiber and for the more big screen. It works with AM Control 4K and the converter CVT 4K. So as we know, the AM Control 4K has 16 Ethernet output and also four fiber output. Two as primary, two as backup. So for the first fiber output, it can handle the first eight Ethernet port from port number one to port number eight. And the second fiber output can handle the rest from the number nine to number 16. So two fiber cable will control those all 16 output. Then we prepare the backup signal from 4K directly. So the connection will be the same as the picture. When you use a stru structure like this, we can also play a track. If you have two screen, which means it has the same resolution, same cable connection, you can use the output on the amp control 4K and the CVT 4K at the same time. Then you will have two screen with exactly same contents. So one from the CVT 4K, another one from the M control 4K. Here, uh, I have to mention that not just for the M control 4K, and this function can be used on the M Control R5 and also M Control 660 Pro. Okay, uh, just now some customers has mentioned our CVT 4K, and we only need two optic fiber to load the 4K by 2K screen. For the CVT 4K, we also have two types. One is the CVT 4K S. S means single mode. The transmission distance up to 10 kilometers. And another one is CVT 4K M, the multi mode, transmission distance up to 300 meters. We also can use the CVT 4K converter work with AMP Control R5. And AMP Control R5, it has eight Ethernet output. So which means just one fiber output can handle all those Ethernet output to drive like, like 4K by 1K screen. So this is the same structure as the M control 4K. So if we have another screen has the same connection, same resolution, we can use the Ethernet port, the Ethernet port from the controller to drive another screen to show the same contents. We have introduced all the way to choose the fiber converter. But do you know how to select the fiber according to your solution? Here, just now we have mentioned that the CVT 310, 320, and the CVT Rock 310, 320. The tra transform speed is 1.25 gigabits per second. For the CVT 310, 
CVT Rock 310, we choose the multiple mode dual core optic fiber. And for the CVT 320, Rock 320, we choose single mode dual core optic fiber. So the one, 125 gigabits bandwidth, which means for each fiber output, can only handle one Ethernet output. For the M-Control 60 Pro, R5, M-Control 4K, and the CVT 4K, the transfer, transform speed is 10 gigabits, which means for each fiber output, we can handle maximum eight Ethernet output. So that's the difference between the 1.25 gigabits and 10 gigabits. Here, we also have a list to show you what's the difference between the single mode and the mode mode. Different transmission distance, one single mode dual core, another one multi mode dual core. Here, I have to mention that the interface type, because in this market, we have different model like IRC, SC, and FC interface. So, for all the NOAA star con controllers and converters, we support IRC interface. So, be careful when you purchase the cable, make sure your fiber cable has the IRC interface type. Okay, this is all for the fiber solution. And now it's, I think it's the troubleshooting time to show you some tips. Sometime when the system fail, please check the working studio indicator first, and it can help you quickly look at the problem. So for example, for the CVT-10 or CVT-310 uh, or 320, this one, it has four indicator line. The first one is power, and second, FX act. It means when the optic fiber communication between two converters are normal, the indicator at two sides are on. And when the communication has problem, only one indicator is on or two indicators are off. And for the second indicator light, the TP act. With network cable communication from the sending card to converter or from converter to the receiving card are normal, the indicator is on and or else it will off. The last one, data, it means only when both FX act and TP act, those two light are on the data indicator close to the converter at the end of the receiving card will flash in, or else it doesn't flash. And for the CVT 4K, in the front panel, in the middle of the front panel, we also have the, some indicator lights. And you can see here, they have 16 a pair two lights for each. And those light, the top one, the green light, and this one means is always on when you connect to the port. And when a yellow indicator is flashing, it means that the port is, is transmitting the data. When a yellow indicator is always on, it means the port that not that doesn't transmit the data. And also, I don't know if you can see there, still has four smaller triangle green indicator light. And those four means when the when those four is always on, it means the 
fiber connection works. Okay, so those indicator led study will always give you very uh, quickly troubleshooting to look at the problem. And if there have some connection problem, please check whether the cable and the opt optic module are connect correctly. So those two module inside the converters, as we can see here, there are actually two uh, actually two wire in one cable for the data exchange. So please make sure the connection position on both sides of the cable is the same, which means, for example, if the yellow one connect to the left of the module, on another side, the yellow one should connect to the same position on the left of the, that module. And last two tips, you need to remember the 1.25 gigabit and 10 gigabit module cannot be mixed, cannot be used in one system. You can only use one of them. For example, if you use the 1.25 gigabits, just make sure all these converters use this module. And the last one, please make sure the converter firmware used in the entire system is the same. Sometimes you have, you have server converters and for someone you didn't upgrade the firmware and the rest you upgraded the firmware. So they have two different version and sometimes they will be caused the danger. So that's all for the tips. And that's all for today's fiber solution. Now we go to the QA session. If you have some problem, if you have a question, you can 